We last left our heroes with them making a grand escape. A great storm passes over them mid-battle, striking lightning on a log, causing a fire, distracting the spiders and fe- in- distracting the spider-infested rat corpse, giving the heroes time to get the heck out of there. They basically need the scourge spider attacking Vince. Damien's uh, ready Vince. to cause chaos. Well, Paulus is ready to kick Damien's ass for erupting. Kick my ass, small fry. We are the same height. <laughs> Actually, that is true. Anyway, still Vince fry. meets his aunt. Apollos gets high. Sunflower makes a plan with Brother Methuselah to get rid of Arachna. Honestly, there was so much crap going on last session that I couldn't even fit on the script. Wait, I heard getting high. This was scripted? Uh, yeah. yeah basically, basically, what happened last time, uh, they managed to escape from Widow in the woods. <clears throat> and, um, uh, unfortunately, uh, Rosie's character, Opalus, got injured in, in the, and, uh, well, let's just say drugs that were given her to her for pain killing made her high off of her rocker. Basically, her, yeah, basic, basically, uh, her pillow was talking to her. Hello, uh, tin can and a wall. I remember. Yes, but, but the um, wall was- first of all, uh, let's, let's start out with the last person I remember we leaving off with. Miss Sunflower. Yes. Is cur- currently, uh, hanging out with Brother Methuselah. Yes. And you guys have discussed stratagems on how to take care of Widow. Yes, but since last time, I'm sorry to say I have forgot everything. Well, you guys discussed different things. I blame Black things, Friday. Like- <laughs> Yeah, you you guys discussed like stuff like uh using a fire, uh using distractionary tactics. Oh you know, right, stuff the like smoke that. tactic. We were thinking about using smoke to get AKA the spider somewhat high. I would love for Molotovs to be a thing in this world, but sadly, most of the alcohol in this world doesn't have the same ingredients that would make it flammable. Wait, but, so the, but the event is flammable. <laughs> yeah, but no, we have to get it from the spiders. I don't think they're giving it up yeah. willingly. Wait, I thought we got it from the giant spider lady. I thought she gave us some of the venom that we can use to, to make, make anti. Dogs. No, to make anti venom. Anti venom. I thought we all agreed to make. I wasn't there to dogs. agree to it. <laughs> oh, my apologies. I guess most of us. I thought most of us agreed to it. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Small. Uh, uh, but, um,. Yeah, that's what you guys discussed. Now, uh, then, dearie, is there anything else you wish to discuss? I guess, I guess there's no way to ask for some oil, is there? What kind of oil? Corn oil? Carrot oil? Well, Apple I, oil. Oil, it sounds bad, but I want to use some oil on at least a couple arrows or weapons because apparently the big spire's afraid of light. Uh, I don't have... Uh, let me see. Uh, starts ruffling through his papers and everything. I mean, I can ask the chef to see if he has some oil, but I don't know if he's going to get very angry at me. Ah, there we go. Picks up a very old book. Y- you can tell that it's been in there a while because, like, sand and dirt all off cover Ooh, as it's dear. been sitting on the door uh, on the floor. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> but he snorted it for a second. <coughs> when is the last time you cleaned this? Uh, sadly, I didn't think about this book. Here is a <coughs> list of creatures from the north. Maybe you'll be able to find some information about Widow in there. Oh, okay. I think we have some time since a lot of our people hurt. Yes, yes. Well, if you need anything else, dearie, I'll be... I'll be... I'll be... Go take a nap. Okay. She lifts up the book and she's going to... Microwave? Before leaving, cover him up and go down. And so the ancient red waller... <laughs> 200 years ago. <laughs> okay, what are you all? awareness Okay, so what are you all doing? Some role play. Sorry, I was in the bathroom. Oh, Eating carrots and bathroom. trying to see if I can think of a plan. Well, right now, Vince is just like, well, my only thing for my mother is gone now, so. Yeah. 
Damien, I guess, is just sitting yeah, Hope's hope. just staring. Yeah. Hope's just oh, intensively staring at her carrot, oh, trying oh. to figure a play. I mean, plan. Play. <laughs> Opalis is just um, trying to wind down, get get whatever happens in that forest out of her head because it is giving her nightmares. Well, right now you're too happy. <clears throat> well, yeah. you do have the little one by you. Actually, she's Damien. not in that room right now. Yeah, no. I, I, I got out, and I got out of my high. Uh, Damien, I want you so to take two so carrots and see if you can start a with, fire yeah, with them. The other dibbons uh, went, went back to go get fish hold in her arms as she still rest. What were you saying? Uh, oh, I shat myself. Damien, I want you to take these two carrots. Yeah. I and I want you to try and make a fire with them. <laughs> All right. You can start Damien a fire. Damien starts rubbing them together aggressively. Like this. Uh, um, uh... I would like to have Sunflower come in during this time, look at this, and keep walking. <laughs> you like when fire, I play with your carrots? Mm. That sounds... I don't want to respond as you, as, you, as, you, as, you, as you say this, Vince, <laughs> uh, not Vince, but as you say this, Damien... Vince is joining me. No, as no. you say this, Damien, you see a little baby squirrel standing in front of you with very wide eyes and a shocked expression. Damien just bursts into laughter. <laughs> Apollos runs over and smacks him in the back of the head. <laughs> oh, why? Hey, be nice. We don't want our bait to go rotten. Uh, <laughs> uh, by the way... Time to hook him again. Uh, by, the, by the way, Damien, you were rubbing those, those, um, th those carrots so hard that now... Yeah, there is you. no, no, no. There is, there is like shavings of like carrots in a little bitty pile on the floor. Huh. Well, hey, I guess next time I want to add it to my salad. Uh, you see the little baby squirrel kind of like, um, like crawl up to you, take the carrots, set them down. Left. Okay. <laughs> okay. Take the carrots, set them down. And put two stones in your hand, and then put them together. <laughs> Damien, being the dumbass he is, starts rubbing the rocks together. Rocks start to fly. I thought you'd have to clash them together. Depending Damien, on the rock. Carrots. Yes, oh, it all depends on the rock. Damien keeps rubbing till he sets a fire on the carrots. Uh, you set fire to your pants. I don't even know furries wore pants. He's one dude. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, unless you're wearing a dress, I won't judge. <laughs> Wearing a kilt. <laughs> I was gonna say that too. <laughs> As, Come on now. Let, let's leave sorry. Mr. Damien to him. By the way, uh, here is the information that you were searching for. Here is the little squirrel. Name is Peach. <laughs> I feel like I've seen that before. I hope An so. <laughs> I hope so. I just, I just know of that little one. Um. But she is I the adorableness. <laughs> flying creatures that look like hearts in the oh, sky. He's he's on fire. Yeah, this is fine. This is all fine. Everything's fine. Hey, man, your trousers nice. are currently on fire. Can I stop, drop, and roll? Yes, of course you can. <laughs> I finished stop, drop, and roll, please. <laughs> it kind of oh, hurts. This is when Vince has a look I on his face of puzzledness, and he sees this. And Vince just goes, just like, shakes his head and just continues walking. Sunflower wave Vince as she's sitting down at the table with the book. I, I go oh, I go to Sunflower. Oh, oh, Paulus walks away with, with Peach in her arms and Peach points back at Damien and says, Now he hot! <laughs> now I'm spicy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Screams it out the top of her lungs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damien in oh, absolute pain. Rip. Just dies. Dies and laughs. Oh, he's dead. He did. <laughs> he's dead. We must hold a funeral for him. No, James laughing just that. dies. <laughs> uh, you see uh, Constance, who never, ever laughs. You just see her go. <laughs> the class clown strikes again. Damien getting up after extinguishing the fire from his trousers. He wants to put a new pair on because them crispy. <laughs> them real crispy. Do you have another set of pants is the question. Probably not. See if one of the mothers could put a patch on it. Wait, wait, can, can someone actually help him fix it? Can someone maybe sew something? Like, it. Rip it? I, what the you can sew? You. Can I? Uh, like me bar good. No, I think she said not it. Oh, not it. Yeah. Instead of got it, not it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Oh, let's see. As you, um, I'll let you guys play this out. I will give you cloth. Oh nice. You actually have cloth in your I will not inventory? offer more than a cloth. I don't know. I want to see if I do. Not I get what, ripping some of my soft help. Oh, th my that that will all depend on the I, check I'll have you do. I actually have extra clothing, but it's size from you. <laughs> Opalis actually has extra yes, clothing but, as well. Um, oh, Opalis goes back oh. to the place to get her bag, where her extra clothing is, mainly her costume. Here, Vince, you can wear this. Oh no, the really frou frou looking dress. So is it is. Is Damien now the uh the dress up character? <laughs> we can play dolls and dress up. Isn't that so nice, everyone? I look at the at the kid dipping. I like how Geo is not saying anything. I'm gonna shove a carrot up my nose. Geo. Geo, Geo or your life? Geo. He's dead. You might need to rejoin. Because well, that's if you can hear us. You're not speaking. What? There you go. Are you alive? I got a beanie. <laughs> We was trying to call you for a little while. Oh, sorry. Someone was talking to me. <laughs> well, um, Rosie, please re-explain. I'm not wearing a dress. I actually have some extra clothes for you, Damien. I pull, I pull out my bag where I have uh, an extra pair of clothing, and I know it'll fit him because we're the same height. Aren't you, are your hips wider than mine? Then I may need a belt. I don't wear belts. It's a dress. No, it's, it's a, a dress. dress. I pull out a really frou-frou looking dress. My entertainer's dress. I'll stick with the crispy bacon pan. <laughs> we can all play dress up with Damien. Doesn't that sound nice, everyone? I look at the dibbon. Oh no, evil. <laughs> Most of the dibbons, who are male, shake their head violently. Thank you. <laughs> Few that are girls, which include three of them, all have sparkly eyes. And you see little Peach rubbing her tiny little paws together. She has an evil, evil glint in her eye. Sunflower <laughs> whispers, he should have run. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of... <laughs> My... Okay, boys, Damien if you don't want to play it. dress up, we can play tag. Play tag okay. with Damien. Okay, Mr. Damien. <laughs> As a, a lady scroll comes up next to you, please change out of the trousers when you're able. I'll sew them for you. Thank you so much. Keep the back it's of no my worry. mind. I imagine the patch on that trousers will be a peach. Right now, it is my it is my niece's fault that this happened. That I set my pants on fire. <laughs> I'm confused. But, well, it was partially my fault. I was trying to Vince get them to start a fire. No, what do you mean? I was the one clanking them together. <laughs> Vince whispers over to no uh, uh, mine. I I whisper over <laughs> to Sunflower. I just go. Kind of did it himself, didn't he? Looked great in the dress. I'm so glad we wasn't like that when we grew up. So flamboyant. I haven't worn this in a while. I'll be back, everyone. I'm gonna go. Why do I keep on coming back to the thought of Rocky Horror Picture Show? And just the, I'm just a sweet trans... <laughs> mm. Wrong trans... Transylvania. Transylvania. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh god, that's such a cl I have no clue. Oh my what god. The hell is you, if you, it, it's a very you... weird movie. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's meant to be terrible, but it's actually ironically an interesting movie because how of the shit that happens. Okay, so Hope and Geo, how familiar are you with the actor Tim Curry? Sounds delicious. Oh, no. Okay, he, okay, he played the uh, he played the fun. mystical door in Bartok the Magnificent. He played, uh, the, uh, he played, uh, crap. More recent ones, uh, you gotta he, do more recent ones. Home Alone 2, he played the, he played the, uh, hotel guy behind the, Which one? a smiley guy. Hello. Oh. Oh, Mr. Hello, McAllister. Hey. I've never watched I know him from one. other. I think I know him from other movies. Mm. I just yes. know his name. Yes, that's Tim Curry. Uh, he kind um, of has this kind of voice. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello. Uh, he okay. also played the original Pennywise the Clown in the original It series. Nope. Yep, that's nope. where I knew him from. Nope. Okay, I know that. All right. He <laughs> was Pennywise the Clown. <laughs> yes, exactly. Never do that again. <laughs> Sorry. Halloween's uh, over. And anyway, basically, um, oh God, what was I saying? Why did I make a reference to Tim Curry? Oh yeah, oh yeah, he was in Rocky Horror Picture Show 
as like a vampire who was also a transvestite. Oh. It was c- called me. Dr. Frankfurter. You got me a vampire. Frank. Dr. Frank. Frank. He cross dressed. Frank. Make makeup and ever. Uh, Frankfurter as in a wiener. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Uh back to the back to the session. Right. Back to the session. Alright, he's getting his pa- um pants patched. Yes. Yay. Oh, oh while I'm while you're uh, just sitting oh. in a closet. So that no one sees you pantsless. Good. I got a cape you could put around your waist. Oh Alarming. my gosh, you'll be wearing a skirt. No, oh, please, let me sulk in here. Okay. Let me pay for my stupidity. Um, either way, I, I've been coming up with a plan. I said, going next to the closet so I can hear. Uh, we all know the big giant spider, what you guys call Widow, is afraid of light. Oh. But we can't burn down the forest. I don't blame her. But if I remember correctly, uh, she was oh. just flying with giant fire. Maybe it's just sunlight. Well, we can't burn down the forest. Why would we use fire at all? Why would fire ever be an option? Because... But we can go during the day. That would help. But the fire also attracts the... What was it? Those creepy little things that was attacking you, um, Apollos? Oh, um, baby spider infested rat corpses? Yeah. Yeah. Th- they seem to be attracted to that, which yeah, kept them that off fire. of you. So they looked at it like they worshipped. Plus, I must say the forest was very dark. I I could barely see in front of me. How many of you could see in the dark? Ben raised his hand. Beside you, brother. <laughs> I'm raising my hand. You just can't see it. Oh, I don't oh. think I can. No, see you just it you open the door and you just stick your hand out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? All right. Um. Uh, well, I have I a. I don't know if I can. I have a lantern oh, with some oil. I will check your character sheet. Oh right. Uh, that'd be under features and traits. Yes. It'd be under I racial. I have a good plan this time. What is it? Features and traits. Oh, Towards the bottom. You see how they? You see how they act around the fire, right? The zombie things. I, whatever. Ah, yeah, uh, Balian raises his hand as well. Wait, you should still be in bed. Vince goes, you I stay in bed. I don't have night vision. I do have dark vision. Alion grunts. You almost died taking me away from that place, so don't grunt at me. Grunts in disapproval. Grunts again. Yeah. Go. So, before it, I get constant. So grunts in I, conversation. Apollos, Apollos tells them the plan, but I really don't want to say it again, so hun, you do it on my behalf? I said it. What, Man, you guys the plan... Hey. This feels somewhat on purpose. I, I'm not hearing. Is he cutting out? Yeah. He's on purpose. My, my power worked again. I cut the Dungeon Master's voice. Don't. Through power. Olly olly oxen free. You're back. Anyways. Please hit Geo. <laughs> Michael, wait, give me a give me a second. Hey, the clouds oh. open up. <laughs> and Dude, then... Uh, Sorry, uh, there's a little tiny hand from the clouds. Oops him on the snoot. And then retracts to the clouds. Anyway, <laughs> flavor text. Sorry. <laughs> what? Anywho, okay. So the plan is, uh, she wanted to basically create a sort of dress uh, that basically looks like a fire, and she would be the distraction. I'll get all the little spiders to look at me Ooh. while you guys go and slay Arachna. But you gotta be bright to attract One. them. I mean, clothing is okay, but. Be you a gotta idea? look bright. I was thinking, while I was traveling around, I did see, I did hear about bioluminescent mushrooms. Uh, and there are also cool, but uh, what about fireflies. Put a bunch of lanterns under your dress. Bloody, do I know where bioluminescent mushrooms might be? Bioluminescent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even that fireflies. Like They're all over, oh, the fireflies are all over the place in Moss Flower Wood when it's nighttime. And those bioluminescent can... mushrooms? You see that word, the ditch, right by Redwall Abbey? Where they grow? Yeah. That's where most of them grow. Isn't that ditch. the ditch where, um... N- no, okay, that's... Just... The, the, the quarry is where Asmodeus lives. No, no, the not ditch. that. I was thinking where all the refuges and stuff go. No, no. Actually, there's actually, um... There's actually a section for that in Redwall Abbey, so... Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. Well, I hear the word ditch. That's the 
first thing that pops in my head. Yeah, ironically, uh, uh, okay, so do you see the, um, do you see the furthest, like, tower-like thing on the wall right by the skeleton rocks? You see the, the little, uh, conehead temp yeah. right there? Right by that wall is where they dump all their refuge. Okay. It's a compost heap that turns into fertilizer for all their, for all their food. Okay. Although it's far the uh, far enough from Redwall Abbey, so it doesn't stink up the whole place. Or use it as a weapon. For example, uh, uh, let me pull you guys over here. I'm Make gonna uh, so right <coughs> over here is where it usually is located. Oh, okay. Uh, let me double check the schedule and the calendar. Okay. Okay. Today is the third week of autumn. Third week of autumn in the year, in the year of the badger. Uh, let's see here. Yep. Okay, I got it. No, no, this is not talking real life calendar. This is fantasy calendar. Are you sure you'd be okay being distracted for, with them? I mean, they might attack again. I'll be fine as long as I look like fire right now. I mean, if you want, you can hold on to my. Oil lamp in my health. The best way to look like fire is to light yourself on fire. That way you look like fire. Heavens, no. You know. Oh, no. Vince just goes, but we could when... just use the lamp. Am I wrong? Vince yes. just goes, we could just use the lamp. You don't. I mean, she kind of points to the closet behind her. I don't think it worked out for him. Yeah, but you'd look like fire if that's your goal. Yeah, look like fire, not be on fire. But being fire is just so much easier than trying to look like it. So you it won't be on fire? I would say you on fire. Eric, if you even even think about it. Bring it on, short stack. <laughs> We're the same height! That's <laughs> so? You're right, that's how you used to be teased for being short. Actually, if it wasn't for the fact that she was a lop ear bunny rabbit, she would actually be taller than you, including her ears. So we'll call you short stack. <laughs> <laughs> the voice is a little deceiving compared to the spoke. But, but yeah, when, when I first um happened upon Redwall, I would always um play my play my pants flute and there were always bugs there that would go. uh fly around or dance around me as I do it. I was wondering if I could do the same thing with Firefly. Make it look like Spark. Uh I don't know how well that's going to work because I'm sure they're going to be scared of the spiders. Have you mastered the carrot flute? But like I said, we can probably get some jars. Yeah. Or we could just use lamps. As I point over to the flaming lamp, just put them down every now and then, and they'll go to it. Oh, like a decoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do that and maybe play some sort of sound that would attract them. Something loud enough to draw them to the area, but not yeah. to, like, the place itself, so they have to look around. Yeah, even if they look at you, they see the fire, they're like... Ugh. Yeah, that could work. So just... Wait a minute, we got, we got oil, don't we? Um, actually... Who here knows how to shoot a bow and arrow? We don't want to catch the forest on fire. How do you think I'm we planning on making a drag? Use it's it fake as a fire. Object. Oh, the small campfire. We set the campfire on fire with the bow and arrow, flaming arrows. Well, that's that way we can control where the spiders go at many times. Well, that's getting close to the place without getting spotted. There were webs everywhere. Besides, you can barely even see in front of you in there. How will we know where the campfire will be? Hmm? That is true. I could barely even see 30 feet in front of me. Maybe 15 if I was lucky. I point I over to. I know I can do this. I know it wasn't very useful in the fight, but this is what I'm good at. I know this will work too. But that's only half the problem. The biggest smell of redemption arc. Vince biggest... just goes, the issue is we don't want to put you in any danger. That's why we're trying to come up with something else. Hence why I'm saying if we can get more oil lamps, we could just set them up and they should be fine without especially if they're I have a question, are these like lanterns or are they like a an actual just a thing with a flame on top where it's an open flame. It's an open I'm asking you about, flame. are they lanterns where they're actually enclosed? No. Or is it an open flame? It's an open flame. It's like a candelabra, but minus the multiple uh, limbs. I have well, a close I... one for my adventuring gear. Just put a candle on top of a spike, a little tiny tin plate, and you light it, and that's what you get with a lantern. This technology level... <laughs> They do have torches, though. Well, we're, also, we're also gonna get back up with some of Clooney's men, right? <coughs> really? I was thinking that, uh, well, well, most of them go with you to, uh, defeat Arachna. 
some of them could stay with me so we can, um, you know, slowly chip away at the- I really don't trust that rat. I I'm do. Sorry. Well, to be fair, he was I the only one that was kind to you. Idea. He was quite nasty towards all of us, so, I don't know, you saying that sounds just a tad biased. Why don't we just go during the day? Because the last time he went day. was during the day. It oh, was, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was very much during the day, which I thank you somewhat trying to save me and Balion. The I didn't think we was that close to said nest lady thing. Arach yes. No, this is Widow. Arachna is the good one. Okay, uh, I don't uh, yeah, know the Widow. difference. They're both big, they're both spiders, and equally her 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 heroin. Arachna is heroin. smaller than her sister. Well, you wouldn't know that at first look. So, big, giant, scary spiders. Yeah. She just looks puzzled. Those I'm legs, though. He sorry. doesn't like Widow either. I, I really, I'm sorry, I just never met this other arachne, so arachne. I can't put my base Actually. decision on it. I kind of got idea. kidnapped, so I have no idea. We need, we need two no people idea. who can run fast. Wait, what? What we do is we get two people to run. I have an idea. For like when we get to Arach, not Arachna, but uh, Widow, uh, in order to kill her. What we do, like when it comes to spiders, we should focus more on the thorax itself. So we need two people to distract her and one person to sneak under her very carefully to stab her in the thorax or to get on top of her to stab her thorax. So we need two but people or plated. more to distract. Well, me being up close with her Personally, she basically can use her own legs to cage you in. It's not pretty. And assuming her legs are probably just as powerful as like the like armor on her body. Good luck trying to get through that with the puny weapons that we have right now. I do agree um, with Bellion trying to attack and he was a very good fighter. I'm not putting down on him, but his attacks were barely making it. I mean, very high AC. So what we're going to probably need is one... Some actual skill in fighting, and two, weapons that actually can penetrate. That's why I was hoping to use some smoke to bring down Widow's, I think that's her name, Widow's I, um, mind or power down. Yeah, uh, it'll make just, her sluggish, but that'll do nothing it. for the armor on her. That'll do nothing for, like, our basic fighting. That'll make her sluggish and not strike as powerful. Well, also, it might lower down the dex. Which might lower down oh, the I AC. Thought, oh, I thought we were looking at this logically, like, oh. the armor would stay the same. Sorry, my bad. D&D &D is strange, trust me. I just well, figured that out. So anything <laughs> would be better than nothing. Okay, true. That's why I was hoping to make, like, smoke piles or something like that to help. We Vince have... goes, there may be... Go ahead, brother. Vince just goes, there may be a way for us to create a controlled burn, Vince says. Yeah, but wouldn't that take too much time? Wouldn't they notice us by then? No, no, no. Not... As a trap, we'll do a controlled burn. Oh, you just mean, like, while we're there? Yes. Oh, okay. We can burn some of the four, like, a little patch where she's at specifically, and it attempts to get rid of her. That could work. If we do this, we have to be careful because we'll be caught up with... Yes. Tell me, does it, is this smoke easily flammable? No, the sparks from the smoke can be flammable, and the smoke can get into your lungs and make it very hard to breathe, which... And assuming this force is pretty... Pretty dense. Right? Very. The fact that you were there in the middle of the day and it almost seemed like a moonless night in there, it's pretty fucking dense. Yeah, so then why would we use smoke? That would easily get into our lungs and thus make us sluggish too. We wouldn't be able to attack as well either, and we'd then be just as dead as her. Well, and, or maybe she it, has an immunity against it. That's why I was trying to say um, if we use wet cloth, make sure our clothes are wet before we go in. The smoke would actually not weigh us down. We'd be able to breathe through the wet cloth. Uh, and while we're oh. making attacks, we need to make sure that we have people who can take a hit as well in case we do have some injuries. I mean, me and my that brother are- This is where I come into play. Me and my brother are standby helping on medic. Oh dear, I need to make some anti-venom, some potions and cures. Oh. That's because we have some if you need it. You do? Yes. Oh, I gotta get on that. And over miles. Oh, I gotta find that herbalism kit now. Oh, is, it, is it dinner time right now? Let's see. We got back around noon time. I'm guessing it's about three, almost dinner time. Yeah, I remember I had. Some... It is directly an hour before dinner. Woohoo! I'm getting good at directing time. How fast are you guys? Uh, I gotta find herbalism kit. Uh, I 
have an herbalism kit on me? I don't. I can't remember. I it, thought you did. It'd be yeah. under your items if you have it. If you can use a herbalism kit, it'd be under your proficiency. I can use one. But you don't have one in your. You items. do have so, a. So or, uh, yes, you do. Remember treasure. treasure. Oh, it's you stuck in the treasure herbalism kit. It was so that she could keep track of it. Ah, uh, so like what go all goes into a freaking uh, explorer's pack, for instance. Yeah, it's a lot easier to keep track of it if it's in a separate, like, section. So, so do you speak up when sunflowers panic? <laughs> I, I have panic. an herbalism kit if you need to borrow. Oh, you do? Uh, Abby, if you don't mind, I That's mean... That's not what I'm using it at the moment. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I now you it. owe me for most 30 tons of parrots. Oh. No, I'm not. <laughs> She, she 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 needs the herbalism kit. There's a difference between wants and needs. I mean, I don't know how many carrots I could get you, but I try to get you some extra. No need. To, I will take the extra carrots, but there's no need. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say you said no to it. That's our hope. It's like she's kicking the addiction. <laughs> no, she's not. She's just being kind at the moment. <laughs> Okay, um, brother, would you help me with this? I'm going to see if I can't get some extra herbs and stuff to make right. some tonics, too. We and need the tonics, too. All right. So, I'm going to ask around, Damien. see if we can't get some extra herbs so I can make anti-venom and some health tonics. A.K.A. health potions, please, bloody. Uh, to make health. Damien. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. Oh, I... How fast are you, Damien? In no, I bed or in general? Ha, huh, I've never tested in bed. <laughs> in general, I consider myself pretty quick. No, what's your speed? 30. Okay, All average. Right. Yeah, but he's stealthy, which is Mine a... is too. That is true, Allian he is stealthy. Ra Allian raises his, ta uh, raises his hand, his speed is 40. Oh. Yeah, ask, ask him. He's much faster right. than I. We need fast players. We need fast people. But we also need people who could perhaps take more than one hit. Valion yeah, no. would be in that group, but we'd also need to make sure that he doesn't get attacked. We'd also have to distract. I'm pretty good at distracting, yeah. I'd say. I helped him quite right. a bit on distraction, but I really don't think Miss Widow liked my jokes. I can at least probably take a hit. Alright, that'll do good. With Rosie distracting- Do you have any bludgeoning weapons? Because we're going to be needing close combat and far combat. Arrows would be nice. Honestly, I can't shoot a bow. I can shoot a bow and I also have my crossbow. Good. You think you could go in between uh, close combat and far combat? Uh, I could attempt, but if you need me in the front line, I'll be there, so. I have a shield yeah. at the very least. Because I got... Yeah, and you shouldn't be... I got a bludgeoning weapon. So He's good at accuracy weapons. I would be pretty accurate with a bow, technically. I mean, I hate to say it, but Paulus might be right. We might have to use... She shiver some of the rats, see if some of them can use a... Bow? If we use the rats, we we'll have to pay them in some way. It would be good if we had some backup. Yeah, if y'all want to get stabbed in the back too, then that sounds good. By the way, uh, Sunflower, as yes. you ask around, uh, uh, you uh, are asking around, no one can seem to help you because they're too busy preparing for dinner. Oh, as dear. Constance uh, uh, taps you on the shoulder. Constance! Eerie, just go to the herbalism patch. Just just outside the door, take a ride. Help I yourself, see. dear. Oh, thank you, thank you. I just don't want to get without permission. Go ahead. We have plenty in stock. I, I do have some spare gold if you need some. Oh, heavens, dearie, no. All right, thank you. Just take care of those blasted spiders for us, will you? I would love to. I don't want to be kidnapped again. All right, dearie. And Sunflower, go pick some herbs. By the way, the herb punch right over here. Ha ha ha, I thought that was a cornfield. <laughs> uh, no, it oh, is a, a simultaneously a strawberry patch and an herb patch. Uh -huh. a strawberry patch, wow. Strawberry? Lovely oh, convenient. I'll get Someone some hold her down, tie her down. What about the carrot? Yeah, Maybe I guess I can serve this with the carrot arms. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is no, true. No. I'm joking with you, I'm joking. Hey, you want me to help you uh, pick some of those herbs there, uh? I'm gonna... Oh, there, there is I'm a carrot farm, my... but it's not visible. <laughs> I'm gonna go clear my head for a bit. Um, if, I may if see if I can scale so. the castle. <laughs> hey, little ones, you stay in here, okay? Where I'm going is potential fairy, especially with the giant spiders and as it is. Okay, just stay in Redwall, I'll be back. I, I just, like, roam around the walls talking to Lenny's men and all the hunters and stuff. 
Uh, as you start going outside, uh, you notice that the that the sun is setting, but there is a noticeable like brightness to the oh a bright a bright shine coming from outside of the walls all around you. As you see, uh, Clooney and his men have set fires around uh, Redwall uh, in little uh, ditches that they dug. Hi, guys. They're either gathered around it, That's like sharpening a w- weapons and such. Hi, guys. Help. <clears throat> little bunny. Hi, I'm Apollos. What's your name? Kill Cooney. <laughs> Oh, oh dear, I She starts glaring at That's me. enough, Kilcooney. No need for intimidating against Clooney's orders. You don't tell me what to do, Fangburn. You hurt the fire. I glare even harder, taking out my dagger. Where did she get the dagger from? He has one, come on. Yeah, I thought we had to put all of our weapons away when we get to the gate. No, that was before. Real quick. That was before. He's outside the gate. Oh, I didn't realize that that changed. Yeah. We have our weapons on us. We've been trying to keep guard. I, I show I, I show him like where my dagger is um tilted. Yes. And, that and is I, correct word. And I glare at him. I will not I may look like an innocent bunny, but if you piss me off, it'll be the end of you. Do you understand? Kill Cooney. Wow, now she sounds like a six foot woman. Oh wait, we're both still short stacks. Hush. <laughs> Yeah. We'll put you in uh, dress, so hush. It doesn't mean I uh, abruptly. I uh, abruptly, uh, a kill. Uh, a, um, uh, can I get an intimidation check, please, from you? Ah, shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this lands high. I kind of want to know please, how this rat's gonna please, react. Please, please. I really hope so too. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm choking up right now because oh, oh my gosh, god, are you okay? Come on. Did I do good. it? A give it give a while. Give it a sec. It's the first of roll the night, of the, so. Yeah, it's the first roll. Okay, I want you to try one more time. Click intimidation. Oh, there, there we go. go. Eh, it was okay, okay, so I, I got a roll for Kilcooney. Please get in that one. Please get in that one. Uh, yeah, As your voice changes, uh, mm-hmm. you notice uh, Kilcooney is taken aback by the sun change in voice. And he stumbles backward as he falls on his butt. Fangburn starts laughing. <laughs> I hold out my hand and off, um, I offer him my hand to help him. Uh, he just calmly, he calmly just sits there and glares at you. Do we have an agreement? Yeah, keep that paw away from me. I'm glad we had an agreement. Have a nice day! I skip around. <laughs> Fangburn is still laughing in the distance. <laughs> you got you got scared by a bunny. <laughs> I can see where the second dairy class comes in now. That is scary. <laughs> oh well. I start I start looking for a balloon direct. Well, there is one tent that is clearly larger than everyone else's. Wonders whose it is. Who I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Might belong to the fat rat. It's constant. It's constant. <laughs> I, I, I guess she's it and stop uh, near the end. Hello, Clooney. Clooney, are you in there? Yeah. Hey, there's no one like there. It's me, Apollo. Yeah. Oh, uh, like the, uh, the uh, tent flaps open. You just see Clooney. Oh, you. Hi. I was wondering. What do you want? You know, we had a fight. Eh? Well. I wasn't very helpful in the forest with my friends, and I want to learn how to fight so I can help protect them and myself. I don't want to be useless. It smells like main character energy. What the heck? Shh, hush. <laughs> what sort of fighting? Well, I, I do have a, a very bad temper, so maybe something along barbarian fighting. Barbaric fighting. Yeah, possible. First, I need you to do me a favor. Let okay. me see your war face. Intimidation again? <laughs> no, performance. Performance. Okay. I I do the same thing I did with uh Kill Cooney. Okay, you'll have advantage. <laughs> did I do it? Indeed. Ooh. Oh, that's good check. That's a really good check. Is this okay, Clooney? 
That didn't sound <laughs> like a war face. It sounded the opposite. That sound... What? That sounded central. That sounded so cool. <laughs> Rooney, please I'll watch your hands, moment. boy. Rosie, we'll All it right. I'll teach you that I know barbarian. So I'll get someone with barbarian in them to help teach you. Thank you, Clooney. Oh, I have to make this for you. <laughs> ah, the death like, glare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Cheese Thief had half as much as cold blood as you. Only because we friends. Something quite I want to make something friends. Quite for. I have something, and I don't like losing. <laughs> yes. Well, let's just say the red wall is safe at night time. You. One I'm thing that you here. should know about Widow is she is terrified of fire and sun. I've dealt with her before. I, I take out my flower crown. I jump up, like, I, I try to jump up high enough to place it on it. I made this for you. You're a rabbit, so you can... Okay, okay, you okay. okay. <laughs> what kind of flowers are they? Um, Non-threatening ones. <laughs> Daisy. White, white Daisy. Daisy and okay. Glamarian, if oh, there are any. He doesn't. Okay, let me let me double check his backstory. Okay, okay. nothing, nothing, not important. You, you place it on his head. He freezes for a couple of seconds as he as he screams uh, at the top of his lungs. Scrag, get your furry ass down here now. As you see a moment of silence. As you see an a very familiar sight, an albino ferret come up and with a cutlass in hand. Did you call me Clooney? Yes, Greg. She wants to be taught in the barbarian ways. You will mm-hmm. teach her. I sure. Okay, who I was like when did our crew switch sides? <laughs> I think the same thing. I was getting a little concerned. All right, little one. As he proceeds to put the uh, cutlass in the ground, he will then proceed to spend the next few hours teaching you how to be a barbarian. As uh, uh, Sunflower is also going to the herb patch, gathering some herbs. Vince, what are you doing? Uh, I'll probably be helping my sister. Okay. Hope, what are you doing? to craft another carrot. Got it. And Damien, what are you doing? Next. I think I'm still sulking in the closet waiting for my pants. Oh, uh, your pants have been done for the past ten minutes. Oh, and I guess I'm just sulking in the closet. <laughs> you hear a gentle knocking on the, on the closet. They're done. Thank you. Be more careful in the future. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'm not a ma'am. I've have, I haven't had children yet. Ah. Uh. My apologies. She's telling you she's single. <laughs> no, I don't think that's what's happening. <laughs> I'm joking around. <laughs> Boy, those would be weird children. <laughs> squirrel and a fox reproducing. Single. It's a fox squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> it's a furl. <laughs> Sorry. Squat. A squawk. A squawk. A squawk. Actually, I think right. there is a fox mouth. I think, I think you may be right. Squirrel. Oh, yes, there is a fox squirrel. Really? Oh, yeah. Just give me a moment to look at. Please. Let's do this. Oh, oh yeah. it's the one I'm familiar with. Yeah, okay. it looks like a normal day squirrel. Uh, it's just very orange. Yes. I get it. Came from the red sands. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> Right, well, thank you so much for my pain. Anyway. I'll try not to burn them again. <sighs> oh, it's no worries. Hey, if any better, next time I'll pay you, okay? Just so then it's not like you didn't get anything out of it. <laughs> uh, you don't have to pay me, dear. Just uh, make sure, as she lightly puts a, cl- uh, a light claw against your against uh, the bottom of your chin, don't do it again as she lightly scrapes it off. Uh, yes. She's like three inches away from your own nozzle. Question She's bloody. Horrifying is this, and horrifying. Is it a complete patch or does it have like a like an animal sticker kind of patch? Uh, it's it, it has uh, three sections dedicated to different herbs. No, I'm talking not for the herbs, for his pants. Oh, uh, well, if you're asking about a 
pattern. There is one. It's not cut into a specific shape. Oh. It's just a patch, but there are there are uh, what looks to be little uh, little symbols of of nuts and pine cones on it. How big? Oh, I've been embarrassed with these patches. With I've been started. Okay, so so the patch itself, his right leg, and it covers from roughly halfway down inside of his inner thigh to about uh, about right up to his uh, kneecap in sort of a sort of an L shaped pattern. Okay. I'm I was but, tempted to say something, but I did not. I chose not to. <laughs> uh, uh, since. We're at that point. Congratulations on a milestone. You can level up. Oh, right now? Yes. Okay. Uh, give me a moment. Oh, I gotta look know. up the. And we will go a little bit longer so that we can actually do some more role play. It, I gotta go in about around. For me, it's six thirty. I got a game in another thirty minutes after that. Seven thirty. Yeah, seven thirty. No, okay. it's six thirty for us. It's 7.30 for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. The points is two seven. Okay. Okay, so we will take care of the leveling up as we go along, but we will continue with the story. But consider yourself leveled up. Okay. Each and every one of you. I already put level four on my thing. Is that all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, 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 ah, oh, Paul, do you much. have been spinning? You've been, been spinning the last, like, hours on end? Just being trained in the art of rage by uh, this scrag fellow. Like, oh, you gotta get more angry! Give me your girl face! Do you really want to see it? I know the reference. I know. Give me it! I don't terrify easily! How many experience points? Okay. Okay. Just base level, uh... My, my phone is being a... Yeah, it's it's base level, um experience yeah. points for level four. I now have 40 HP, so I can take a better hit. Oh, do I want that feet or a billy cord? And... Oh. Fluffy, hey. Oh. Can I do it? Is that... Hey, Fluffy. Uh, how, how do I mess up my hit points again? How do you do what? Can I do it? How do I mess up my hit points again? Here's my uh, you can roll your guy. Go ahead. Uh, no, you did not. Uh, can I get in... Try again. How, how do I do that? Uh, there should be a uh, thing on your sheet that says hit dice. right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, D8, hit dice D8. Yeah, go four, ahead. Four, go two. grab a root beer. Basically, you roll that. You roll one of them, and it's going to add your constitution modifier, so you gain 5 HP. Oh, but then I'll have 26. Yep, and actually, uh, you did get your average, too. Which is nice. Yeah, intimidation roll, Miss Paulus. I also have to see what else I can add. Look, I am a chicken. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Uh, Look, I am a Paulus. Oh! By oh, the way, huh? everyone, for those of you who are level four, you can get two stat increases, or you can get a feat. I have two feet. Oh, oh! By the way, uh, please notify me before you take a feat. What's a feat? Yes. What mm -hmm. you're taking? A nine and a nineteen. Because it will determine whether or not you actually get that feat, because some of them may not or may not exist in this world. Like no magic. Well, for me, most of them are. Yeah, none of the magic stuff. Really. Like, please. Notify me before you take a fee. And you said a nine or nineteen? A nine and a nineteen. He's like, he's like, ah, okay, okay, let's try this. I want you to try again, but imagine all of your friends are dying at the hands of someone evil. Now go. And of course, my phone has to be a butt at. You know what's funny? <laughs> like, I can't stand root beer now i don't mind the taste it's the aftertaste bug yeah no the aftertaste normally isn't really the best um bloody i found I a feat that i want okay what's the feat it's called unthreatening threatening is that in the player handbook it's this unthreatening you're that adept... in the player handbook um that's in i believe so because i'm uh... looking up at the character mancer <sighs> Okay, it guys, basically, I'm gonna have to... it basically gives me one charisma, and any creature that is two sizes 
board than when a creature is two or more size categories larger than you, the target, uh, with a melee attack at you, you may use your reaction to make yourself look pathetic and unthreatening. The creature must redirect the attack to a different target. If there's no alternative at, um, target, the attacker um, will still hit you. Until your next turn, your next melee attack or range attack against the creature is made with advantage. Okay. Might have to flavor that a little. Uh, Opalis, what did you say? My phone is being a butt, and I said that I might have to restart my phone. Oh. Got it. Okay. I should not be asking this, but dear, can you yep. roll for me? <clears throat> well, that'll change into a Paulus. How do I? How do I add to my abilities? Or not my abilities, but my um. It doesn't have alcohol. It has yeast. Interesting. Yeah, it has, uh, yeah, it has the stuff like that might. Strength, dexterity, constitution. How do I? How do I up that? Do I just uh, add you one have, to it? Yeah, you add one to the bottom part. Is oh, okay. what you do. Where you have the 16, 17, 18, and all that, or whatever wow. your skill is. Okay. Oh, okay. And I'm only allowed to add. Like one per, correct? Um, bloody, I can only use well, this for only once every short or long rest. Uh, you can technically put both points into one stat, I believe, but oh, okay, you can That's... mix it around. Yeah. So if it's okay, all the... oh, sorry. Uh, uh, sorry, there's a lot of stuff going on. <clears throat> all right, I added my points. All right, let me look at the feats. I think that's okay. So since I added those points, does that mean I'm not allowed to get a feat? Yeah, you yeah. you either get a feat or those two points. It's one or the other. Okay. Well, I think yep. the points were then well spent. Okay, uh, so, uh, oh, by the way, Hope, really quickly, uh, it all depends on the brand of root beer also. That is true. Yeah. By the way, if you want me help, let me know. I've been drinking multiple brands. There's a reason why it's called root beer. I love it. It's minus the beer. I'm probably going to grab a feet. But if you don't want that... Yeah, A&W does have 2% alcohol. Anyway. If you don't want that feet, I could just do healer. So you're... Do I use strength or do I use one of my weapons? For a uh, barbarian class? Fair. No, no, for um for training. Yeah. Uh you use one of your weapons basically. So basically short sword would probably be your go to. Uh so I rolled for you a 19. So oh. for intimidation. Uh like here's like ah, that's more like it. As we go from there. Since uh, Vince has to leave, um, I will run your yeah. character as silent from now on until the end of the session, unless Sunflower has to go too. No, not yet. Okay, okay. So I'll run Vince's character for the rest of the session as silent. So Vince, when you have to go, just notify me that you're vamoosing and yeah. then you're free to go. Sorry, I like um, to at least be a little bit early for the game as well. As <clears throat> right. Punctual. Yep. Just juicy was here. Uh, but, uh, as, uh, he was like, ah, ha, 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 that's more like it. <coughs> 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 that's real me. Get new can. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, Sunflower. Yes. You, how many hours do you spend on gathering herbs? Oh. I probably lose track of time and forget dinner's going on. And considering that we're going to have a big party going out, if people are still hurt, and I still got to make the antivitamin, my mind's going a mile a minute, so I'm probably spending a couple hours, maybe three at most, double-checking my work to make sure I'm getting the right herbs and not picking too much because they have to have herbs later on and they have to regrow. Can I get a nature check? Okay, under. Ooh. Oh, that's actually relatively good. Higher than I was expecting. It's pretty low for me. Uh, as you're picking up herbs with Vince's help, uh, you notice that uh, by the tree, there is... <clears throat> there it looks to be some sort of growth right at the base of the tree. And you see an exceptionally rare type of herb. Uh... It is known as, um, hold on, let me get the name for it. By the way, Bloody, I'm getting Heavy Armor Master. Is that all right? You would have to find some heavy armor, but good luck. I am wearing heavy armor. Huh? Yeah, my character's wearing heavy armor. What sort? Chainmail. Luck on getting it repaired. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, 
Lost my train of thought. Thank you, bloody. He I mean, fluffy. Looking at the I... wear herb. Yep. Uh, all right, now I get a non. I just now have. Let's herb. See not here. Herb. All damn it. Oh, okay. Ah, here it is. It is known as the moonflower. Ooh. It is a very rare and potent type of healing salve. The healing's so good, you just kind of die. No, please, no. <laughs> Despite it be calling a moonflower, it is grown on a vine that goes up the tree. I guess only the flower is used. Ironically, you uh, need both the flower and some of the leaves to make it work. What do I need to roll to make sure I don't destroy <clears throat> Kill the vine? Yeah. A survival check. No! Why a two? Uh, so... Let me get the base stats for this uh, vine. <laughs> See how much damage you do to it. Oh, man. Oh, actually, you don't do any damage. You're really? very fortunate. Oh, good gosh. This little farmer mouse is going to cry if she did. You're very fortunate. Oh. Very hardy vine. Yay. Here we go. Here, here we go. <clears throat> Moonflower, very hardy vine. When it comes to survival, it can survive in, even in the desert. Oof. So, you snipping it won't do that much damage. Even though I snipped it really bad. <clears throat> bad. Bad thoughts. You almost made that male plant a female plant. What the hell? I could technically do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can. <clears throat> uh, um, uh, you know it is extremely a rare plant. So the fact that you found one is very good. Oh, I have to come back for you later to get some more. But please grow up nice and strong. Ah, we gotta go make some medicine. All right. Probably around this time, she finally realized how late it is and she hasn't ate. So she's probably going to just grab like a <coughs> loaf of bread and some fruit and start working on the er, um, potions and tonics. All right, guys. I'm going to get going. I'll have All day right. One. See you, Vince. Bye. Uh, uh, Mr. Damien. See you. Yeah, what are you doing? I don't know if you mean real life or actually. Uh, uh, your character, Damien, what is he doing? Well, you know, staring at his pants and thinking about good old times because the patterns bring him, it brings him happiness, makes him feel good. Oh, oh, okay. Thought you meant something else. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, the light in me. Uh, uh, penis joke. Anyway, I <laughs> 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 never mind. <laughs> Uh, so hope about that one. <laughs> hope, what are you doing? I'm eating the carrot that I tried to carve into a flute. Okay, as you uh, are, uh were carving, then all of a sudden you realize that you were smelling carrot this whole time, and just going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I messed up and I chipped a little too much uh, off the inside. Okay. Of it. I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> you made a mistake. That's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, as as Damon, you're staring at your pants. Uh, you f smell a strong waft of dinner approach you. Ooh, who's cooking? As you see, um, um, a squirrel lady round the corner with a bowl. Mm -hmm. I figured you were a little bit bashful after burning your pants, so I got you some dinner. You're too kind. Thank you so much. No worries. Is there, like, a way I can repay you at all? Um, just do me a favor. Make sure all of those little spiders die. I'll do my absolute best. And thank you for the food. Oh, no worries. There's some ale by it, by the way. As you see, there's a, indeed a tankard on on the little uh, little slab that she gave you with a with a um, soup and piece of bread, some cheese, and a tankard, which is frothing. I thank you for this meal, and now I shall eat. <laughs> he, d he just, like, slowly gets out of the closet, and then just enjoys his food. Crazy, he's coming out of the closet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I smelt that joke from a while away. I knew it. Hey, I couldn't resist. <laughs> hey, I don't blame you. The opportunity was dangling in front of me, like a carrot on a stick. I needed to take it. Um, as a, a sunflower, as you're um, <laughs> m making your tonics, you f hear a light cough at, you, at the doorway that you're making your tonics in. As the um, you see the 
a very elderly shuffling of Methuselah as he goes away as you see plate of food is at your doorstep. Thank you. Um, sorry. I was... No, he's shuffling away. Oh. He's just leaving okay. you to it. Okay, I was saying things. She slaps her cheeks, goes to the doorway. You said there was a play of food? Yep. She picks it up, goes back to the table, pinches her cheeks again, shoves some food in her mouth, and goes back to potions. Okay, just a little bit more of this. I gotta crush that. Wait. Oh, who had the uh, the spider thing again? Ah, uh, oh, shoot, one of them. I can't remember now. My head's spinning. She's gonna get up uh, and look for pause. whoever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you as you guys, uh, you two are training. You hear a voice. All right, boys, break time. Get your food while you can. I I, I just stand back and let and um, cause cause I don't want to take away of their. But I have a scheme. Yes. Hey guys. Yeah. Turns out I forgot my game was canceled. Oh. Well, <laughs> you know what that means? He's back. <laughs> also alarm. Okay. My uh, bad, guys. I, it's just I'm so used to going through the game. It's just you know. Yeah. All right. Now be quiet. Hey, hmm? Oh, it's okay, hey, Danny. Kid. I can eat inside. No ifs and or buts. Take it. Thank you. Sit close to the fire, and I have a smirk on my face. Do you guys want to hear a scary story? You sit by the fire. You ask that question. You immediately have every rat's attention within earshot. I figure as much. <laughs> in my normal voice, or in, in my sexy opalis. I would say I more tell... like small six-foot woman. Oh, hush you. <laughs> I will, I will have Hope kick you into the wall once again. As you should. Um, well, just, <laughs> well, no, time right to take a drink. You. <laughs> oh, anyway, sorry, I Hope. tell them, I tell them what happened with exaggeration. Uh, give me performance? a performance check, please. It's just not my day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay. Did I do it? Uh, give a moment. Try again. Drive me crazy. As I, I should. Do it. <laughs> nope. See what I mean? Six foot well, I, uh, Do I need to transform into you so I can help? I, I can do this. Hey, hey yo. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're just gonna kind of hop right okay. into skin. Try um, one more time. Thank you. How dare you? You took my joke. <laughs> Sorry. Not wanting to respond. <laughs> just my brother. Yeah. Holy uh, mother of God! What happened? Wow. That's, that's a nat 20. Impressive. Ooh. I don't think uh, that's what I said, though. You have, you have, let me, uh, since it's a nat 20, I'm going to make this interesting. I'm going to roll a 1d100. Okay. And for the good side of 1d100s, I'm going to pull that from my, from my list. Let's see here, since this was a special event, it would be under the subtitle event. I don't tell them which forest, though. You have 35 of the rats on the edge of their seat, 15 of which are currently uh, darting their eyes left and right while having their hands on their weapons at all times. And they slowly creep up before then, I knew it. <laughs> Clooney just pops up and uh, uh, each one of them goes, ah! <laughs> I don't think I have your drums left after that. Thank goodness I'm on a phone. On I can just hold you. <laughs> I'm just glad. And you guys full that. blast in my left ear. Apollo <laughs> <laughs> well, just falls down laughing. I have no left ear anymore. Oh, you're too insane. One of the poor rats is currently hyperventilating on the ground. He's like. <laughs> Okay, I give him a hug and uh, pet him to try it. Okay. Uh, you smell a strong scent uh, coming from uh, the distance. Bill Cooney is trying to play it off, but he clearly wet himself. <laughs> it's not the bravest of, <laughs> of uh, Clooney, uh, Clooney's captains, which is why he's at last on the... Anyway. Toasted, toasted, fringe music. <laughs> um, as the night goes on, um, you all eventually get tired. Uh, sunflower. Yes. You were making potions this entire time. 
potions and antidotes because I'm pretty sure I went back downstairs, shook Damien, I'm like, I need that poison. Okay, so before you go down there, I did a secret roll. Calculate how many you made. Oh, I don't have to roll for it? No, I already did that. Okay. Right. I, I had to roll my herbalism kit. Well, I kind of figured you were taking your sweet time with it, so I wanted to make sure that it was, you know, if you're doing it out of expediency, it, it, I would require it, but you know, I oh, guess you're taking Oh, that's why you time, asked how much so. time. Okay. Exactly. So, good news is you made seven antidotes and 11 healing tonics. Ooh. That do a one. That is like a lesser healing potion, so it's a 1d4. Okay. Seven antidotes and 11 light tonics. light tonics. Yep, light tonics. Now, just so you know, these particular healing tonics are not ingestible. Apply them. Ah, so this is Vince's specialty. <laughs> All depends on if your sister actually knows that. <laughs> what, that he can oh, she knows I can patch somebody up fast. Yeah. Uh, no, no, if, he, if she, she, you know that it's his speciality to apply these things. So, oh. so uh, when you go it. back down... Uh, so 2d4 plus 2, okay. Yep, yeah. when you go back down, uh, Vin, uh, who are you getting the anti-venom from? Um, I went down to Damien because I believe he told me he had it. So she's going to be looking for him and she's dead tired. So as soon as she finds it, um, finds him, she's going to probably jump on a table to get up to his height and then shake his shoulders and like, give me the anti venom I mean, the phantom. Oh my gosh, I need sleep. But still give it to me. I still can't make it. Oh. Yeah, uh, uh, I, um, Damien, what were you doing at that point? That, uh, mouse <laughs> got up onto the thing and started shaking your shoulders violently, asking for the venom. Dio! Did he go? Dio! I don't know. Dio! Here, Dio! Here, Dio! Well, you can skip me. Until he starts um, talking again. Did I see him like he was a puppy? <laughs> anyway. No. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, uh, Hope. It's been hours you... since you've eaten that carrot. What are you doing? Attempting to sharpen my weapons. Interesting. Okay. How are you doing that exactly? A rock made for sharpening weapons. Uh, do you have a whetstone? Know... Yeah, I don't think you have. That is an item you can't buy, technically. It's not that expensive either. Bloody, real quick question. Real quick answer. If I take the spell mending, can I use that as a flavoring of sewing people's pants up or little short um, repairs? Yeah. Is it water stone? But you would actually take out a sewing kit and do that. I'll get one. It's called a wet water stone. Is. Yeah, W-H-E-T stone, one word. Yeah, I don't have that. Oops. Oh, don't worry. You you can literally get one for next to nothing. Yeah, they're not that expensive. Uh, you um um. So uh, it all depends on who you ask and all that good jazz. Um, let's see here. Uh, <clears throat> Damien back yet? I don't think so. Oh, I forgot. I have proficiency with Smith tools open. now. So. Woo. Huh? He's taking big boop. Don't need to know that. He's got to take a big boop. <laughs> Did you just say meow? No, Geo. Oh, I thought she said meow. I was I like, mean, what the hell? We can no, put I him in a cat meow. made I outfit. Did oh. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, okay. Let me out because I wanted to throw everyone off. Work. Okay, <laughs> then. Vince, since you're back, hey. what are you doing? Uh, Let's see. I was helping uh rio's character but if we got like towards nighttime i'm going to sleep <laughs> understood you just calmly start heading towards the towards your usual uh hidey hole as you pass by brother methuselah's room you hear him snoring <laughs> and then the 35th abbot died <laughs> and after... yes, keep going <laughs> You just keep going as you hear this. You get to your room. You find a nice cot that seems very, very comfortable. You crawl underneath 
the well the first covers. i take off my armor yep take uh, off my armor take cover yourself up quickly go to sleep you start dreaming for some odd reason uh in this dream uh you are some sort of a viscous slime you're very tiny and you're riding on the back of an angel of some sort hmm this is strange <laughs> I know where the reference is coming from, though. <laughs> it's Prince. Completely different character that's just like, yay, giant woman, fuck yeah. <laughs> this character's way more chill. <laughs> Apollos, mm-hmm. as you get done training for the day, uh, Scrag dismisses you for that day, and you are drenched in sweat after this training session. Okay, good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I go inside and head straight to the bath. Okay, uh, well, a bath is a large basin with water in it. And as you get in, water is ice cold. Oh, enter it, enter it, enter it. Yeah, they actually water. do have things to heat up the water. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do, but you gotta think. It's this nice. is yeah. This is uh, this is heavily nighttime. You just hear a commotion outside and like, Yuri, what are you doing in the ice cold baths? Well, I worked really hard. I didn't think it, but I'll oh, be that's fine. That's because you forgot to turn on the heating. As you see Constance from the doorway, she ar- abruptly uh, goes over to the corner and proceeds to jump full force onto Bellows. And uh, you hear something go... <sighs> The water's quickly getting a lot warmer. There's charcoals underneath, sweetie. Your time. I'm just not really used to it. I would always wash myself. With- yeah, this is a this is probably a new experience for you because ice warm water. It is soothing all like the cuts and bruises uh, and bumps that you got from your training session with Scrag. Like he said, he was not going to take it easy on you. He was training you to fight. And you can just feel all that just being soothed in the warm water. You can smell something in the water. Sort of a lavender scent. Oh, that's going to knock his right feet. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So eventually Vince is going to find you in the bath because Vince is actually very, like, I rolled for something to see if I sleep that night. I don't. <laughs> oh no yeah vince has issues with sleeping because ptsd <laughs> eventually your your wonderful dream turns sour and you it's like two of your worst nightmares for each of your players it's it's my baby boy riding asmodeus poison teeth <laughs> no no hey no, <laughs> no. But he has like a reins and everything. Like but usually horse. after Vince gets like, you know, those night terrors and stuff, you get uh, all nasty and sweaty. Yeah. Like you get up, you start wandering the halls, and you <laughs> abruptly smell like a uh, lavender scent. You just see Opalis in the bath just punked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vince would just be like, oh shit. I would eventually go to Opalis. Like, I'm, you know, not, you know, being, you know, I go, Apollos, and I'm just like, you know, crouched down right there. Apollos, Apollos. Tap, tap. I didn't eat it! Oh, hi, Ben. Sorry, you fell asleep. I was worried that you would uh, fall into the bath. Oh, okay. I, um, Apollos kind of looks at him expectantly, you... like, I'm gonna get dressed now. Yeah, uh, Vince just wake, woke you up. He's not looking at you. Like, Vince is walking away now. He's like, he goes out of the room and he just waits. Vince is a gentleman. As we go from there to uh, Hope, who, uh, since it's late at night, has probably fallen asleep, as well as Damien. Somehow they found it, uh, somehow they found it in their power, even though they were separated at the time. Find themselves back, they're just leaning against each other fast asleep, just in the hallway. That for Hope is way bigger than uh, Damien. (laughs) So it's Damien leaning on her as well. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sunflower, you uh, kind of fall asleep uh, doing your potions. <laughs> I'm sure there's some herbs stuck in my fur. <laughs> <laughs> there are some herbs stuck in your fist as you fall asleep. Uh-huh. Um, as we go from there...